So Drake actually show Fulnir and Malefessa the basics of a Guardian Witch teams, which he actually show them the magic seeds and their elements, which are lightning seed, icicle seed, flame seed, water seed, and sephir seed, which is wind. Basically, they're actually the blades of the five elements. And so we actually saw how he's going to use those powers as well, which Fulnir using a power circle on his blade, and then he actually used the power where he actually fought off against Drake and his powers. And so we actually saw how the magic seeds actually work. And so we saw how powerful he actually can be. So we actually knew the basics in which he actually saw how he was actually is stuck with the icicle seed. But we actually saw how he taught them everything about being a team, which of course that when a guardian and a witch actually fight in team, they actually became powerful when the witch using their guardian as a medium to amplify their powers. Then she can actually extend the minimum power which necessary while the guardian, which is full near, actually <coughs> actually form a strategy to use the maximum advantage of it. So basically, it's just like saying she can only use probably about 20% of her powers, which Fulnir can only use probably about 40% of his powers, or let's just say 50 and that will actually become an advantage in which they actually use that strategy on Drake which he actually dodged it and then he actually saw how powerful that attack actually felt where he was actually pushed back and they actually saw a smoke screen which we actually saw how they were actually dodging him and they're trying to figure out how they're going to beat Drake. So we actually knew what their strategy is. And so we actually saw Manifesta using a burst of flame which he actually can use. However, she's about to use her powers just like what she actually did against Jin and Rui. Of course, that actually extended the mark on her face actually further, which of course, that actually meant what she actually did. But she will actually have to use that power, meaning feeding his, her own life into the flames. So we actually saw how Fulnir trying to calm her down in which Fulnir actually tried to see what he was going to do with them together. But we actually saw Drake actually approach them, by which we saw Fulnir using his sword and the powers to actually try to defeat Drake, in which he actually, actually approached him with speed and then try to use a powerful attack on him which he actually defeated Drake with a powerful slash attack which he actually was defeated but we actually knew how the two of them are still soft but they're actually going to be a whole lot lessons that can actually be taught for them. But we actually knew that he actually had teach them everything that he actually 
did now. For now, they can actually use a powerful device called a magic gush, which looks like a pocket watch, but only different. So Fulnir and Manifesta have learned everything they can with Drake, so they actually can continue on their battles against other Guardian and Witch teams. So we actually saw how powerful the magic seeds are. So we actually can see where else they can go from there on the next chapter next weekend. So anyway, like this video, subscribe for more, and comment on what you think about the manga chapter. You guys can also follow me on Twitter, Instagram, Tumblr, and my Facebook page. Until then, this is Anime Guy, joining your saying, sign out. Later. Cheers.